My people, what's going on? Roger Clemens was found innocent today in a court of law all across the board. The first thing I thought was, this doesn't change anything as far as the way I think about Roger Clemens. I still think he's dirty as anything. I think that Roger Clemens used performance enhancing drugs. His numbers are off the charts later in his career. His friend Andy Pettit initially said that he used performance enhancing drugs. Now he misremembers. His wife used HGH. His, his story just doesn't add up. You can think whatever you want to think about Roger Clemens and his involvement with performance enhancing drugs, but the bigger point is this. It is so damaging for an athlete to be linked to performance enhancing drugs. Who's the athlete who's been linked to steroids or HGH or anything like that that you actually believe is innocent? Who is it? And I started thinking about this and I'm like, in the court of public opinion, you always hear that. You have to prove your innocence. This isn't a court of law. This isn't being found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. When it comes to public opinion, you have to prove that you are 100% innocent. How do you do that when it comes to performance enhancing drugs? There's simply no way to do it. What do you have a webcam that's just attached to you throughout your life? You can check the footage. How do you prove you're innocent? <laughs> you know, if somebody said, no, you used steroids in high school. And I say, no, I didn't. How do I prove that I didn't? So I started thinking about this and I came to this conclusion. I think it's harder for an athlete to prove he's innocent of using performance enhancing drugs than it is for a man who's accused of rape. Now, think about that for a second. This has nothing to do with the serious nature of each of those things. Rape has steroid usage trumped by 20,000 miles. This is just a matter of who are people more likely to believe. More people are going to sit back and say, hold on, hold on. Okay, this guy is accused of rape. What are the facts of the case? Is there a chance that this didn't happen. Let's wait and see how it plays out before we go on assuming things. Think about how that differs from your reaction when an athlete, male or female, is linked to performance enhancing drugs. Nobody says, well, hold on, let's stand back, let's wait, let's sit back, wait for more things to come out. We say, guilty, done, no questions asked, it makes sense. That's why I think it's actually more damaging for an athlete to be linked to performance enhancing drugs than it is for a man to be accused of rape. Think how crazy that is. But it goes back to the thought of who's the one athlete who's been linked to performance enhancing drugs that you say there's no way, no how. We just automatically believe it. So I think for Roger Clemens, even though he's been cleared across the board, innocent, 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 on all six counts, it doesn't change most of our opinions. So nothing ever will. <laughs> like there's, no, there's nothing else to do. If your mind still is made up that Roger Clemens is dirty, that proves that there's no way to prove your innocence. It's a crazy thought. Let me know what you think. Comment below. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer.